Hello and welcome to the channel Automation Step by Step. Today is Friday, so let us begin our Q&A Friday episode. And today we are going to take up a question asked by Archana. And she says, your videos are very useful. I have been watching your videos since I have started working. I'm a manual tester from one year and I wanted to start automating my office software, but it is developed using Angular JS. And I'm facing difficulty in automating our software using Selenium. So my question is, how to automate AngularJS applications in Selenium? Archana, thank you so much for asking this question. And this is very relevant today because a lot of web applications are being developed today in AngularJS. So to make it very easy for everyone to understand and follow, I will answer your query in three sections. The first part, I will discuss very briefly what is AngularJS. Then we will go to understand what are the issues we face while doing test automation of AngularJS web applications with Selenium libraries? And finally, we will see what are the options do we have to automate these web applications. So coming to the first part, what AngularJS is. So AngularJS is an open source uh, framework which is used for developing the front end of web applications. And it is based on JavaScript and it was developed by Google. So today, a lot of developers use AngularJS framework for developing the front end of the web applications. Uh, now coming to the second part, what are the issues we face while doing test automation of these web applications using Selenium? Uh, so in AngularJS, there are some extra controls or some extra attributes in the HTML like ng controller, ng repeater, ng model, etc. So we face two major issues. The first one is in case uh, there are elements that have only these ng attributes, it becomes a little difficult to locate these elements with Selenium libraries. And the second major issue is about synchronization. So the uh, Angular elements uses heavy JavaScripting at the background. So there can be some synchronization issue. Selenium goes by line by line execution and uh, these elements may take some time to manifest in the DOM of the HTML. So, uh, by the time Selenium tries to search for these elements or take action on these elements, they are not already present. So they can be some synchronization issue as well. So it can be a little difficult to handle this. Now, uh, coming to the last part, that is what are the options do we have to handle this? The first one is we can use Protractor. Now Protractor is an end-to-end -end test framework for uh, testing the Angular and AngularJS applications. And uh, uh, using Protractor, you can easily do the test automation of these applications. The downside uh, of the using protector is it is only based upon JavaScript. So you can only use JavaScript. You cannot use any other programming language with protector. The second option we have is in case you are using Selenium with Java or you already have a framework uh, in Selenium Java, then there's a good news for you. There is a library called ng webdriver and this library is based over protector and it covers all the extra attributes which are present in the AngularJS application. So using this library, you can easily uh, find or take actions on AngularJS elements. So there is a GitHub page for this uh, library where from where you can download and also get all the information on how to use this library. I will provide the link for that GitHub page in the description of this video and I will provide all the other relevant links in the description of this video. So I hope this was useful for you in case you have any other query that you want to be featured in the next episode of QA Friday. You can send me your queries along with your name and location at ask.qnafriday at gmail.com. I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.